How Can We Help Coral Reefs by Lexi. Dedicated to Mrs. Heidi Weber, who helped me write this book into her classroom, room 40 at Loveland Elementary School. Introduction. Imagine a coral reef with tons of colorful corals, fish, and other animals. Imagine it full of life and color. Now imagine humans coming along and bleaching the coral, removing the color and life, adding pollution and making life disappear and go away. Unfortunately, this is what humans are doing to the environment. What can we do to help a beautiful coral reef? Threats to the reefs. Unfortunately, as humans create many threats to coral reefs, climate change is one of them. When we use fossil fuels, the extra heat makes it all the way to the reefs. Coral is so sensitive to heat that it could be badly damaged just because of the temperature and the water rising by one degree. Another deadly threat is pollution. It can make much of the life in coral reefs have two options, move away or die. Overfishing can kill tons of fish, coral, and other animals. Boats and anchors can touch the coral, which destroys it because the coral is extremely delicate. A polluted coral reef. Also, littering is very deadly to the reefs. It may not seem like it, but litter almost always finds its way to the ocean. The effects of threats. Unfortunately, because of these threats, we have already lost 27% percent of our coral reefs, and many of the remaining reefs have lost up to 50 percent of their coral. Still, tons of the remaining coral is bleached white because of us humans, and many of us still have not realized what we are doing to the environment. Species that are threatened. All of this might sound horrible to us humans, but it's even worse for the life forms that live there. One species that is threatened is the butterfly fish. They rely on eating plants in the reefs to survive. This is the same situation with many other animals, including spiny lobsters, sea turtles, and other kinds of fish. Also, whale sharks rely on eating krill. Krill can be most commonly found in coral reefs, meaning many whale sharks rely on coral reefs. Many whales and dolphins also eat fish that can only thrive in coral reefs. This means that they end up relying on the reefs themselves because if the reef they live near runs out of fish to eat, their species might die out too. Also, this food chain crashing can spread all the way to the land, eventually making its way to us humans. This all means that if we don't do anything about this, we and many other species will die out. Butterfly fish are in danger of extinction. No littering. How does littering even affect coral reefs? Surprisingly, much of us, humans litter eventually makes its way to the ocean, then to coral reefs. For example, let's say your neighbor dumps some plastic bags in his backyard. The bags get carried by the wind into the middle of a parking lot of a store nearby where a robin thinks there's something good to feed her chicks. She carries them up to her nest where it gets carried by the wind into the middle of the parking lot of a store nearby where the robin thinks there's something good to feed her chicks. She carries them up to her nest where it gets blown away by the wind again into a nearby river. The river's flowing water carries the bags all the way to the ocean where they float to the coral reefs. Yes, much litter gets carried by wind, water, animals, and many other things all the way to the ocean, then to the reefs. Once the litter is there, many bad things can happen. For example, an animal could eat it and get sick or die or if it's plastic, it could spread oil and pollution everywhere it goes. And that is just some of the bad things that could happen. Special occasions. There are many things that you can do to help save the reefs. So we are starting with things you can do on special occasions. If you can, volunteer to clean up the Earth's beaches. Often, if you can clean up the garbage before it reaches the ocean, it won't go into the ocean at all. Also, many coral reefs are close to the shore, so you, if you clean up the beaches, you're partly cleaning the reef too. Whenever you go diving, 
Even if it is not in a coral reef, be very careful about the sunscreen you're wearing. If you go in water with sunscreen, it will wash off and many brands of it have ingredients that can badly harm coral reefs. Also, never let boats or anchors touch the reefs or touch them yourself. What else can you do to help? There are tons of things that you can do to save the coral reefs, so I will give you a quick list of them. Make sure to always do the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Whenever you can. Also try to save as much water and energy as you can. Use as little plastic as possible. Ride bikes, walk, carpool, and get places so you can save energy. Reduce pollution and chemicals. Also, no littering. If you can, clean up litter too. No overfishing either. Minimize use of fertilizers. Dispose of your trash properly, which means to recycle what you can and compost what you can. Also, try to reduce stormwater runoff. Last, but definitely not least, spread the word. The red represents coral reefs around the world. Conclusion. Sure, the coral reefs might be dying. Sure, it might seem hopeless now, but that doesn't mean you should give up trying to save the reefs. In fact, the world is now trying to protect and save coral reefs around the planet. Together, everyone can bring the reefs back to life. You can join this mission and help save, help to save the reefs.